hello, it's Debbie from the Tarot Bee and here is your daily reading for the 30th of September. Let's give the cards a shuffle and see what we have here for today. Another one for look. First up, we have the Queen of Swords. Somebody is cutting someone down. Someone's being very sharp. We've got a sharp communicator here. Don't mince the words. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person. Intelligent, logical thinker. In the past, we've got the Ace of Cups, and in the present, we've got the Ace of Wands. So we've got two aces again for the second day running. Different ones. So we have a lot of passion, perhaps a new idea. Someone might be ready to share a new idea. There's certainly lots of passion here and obviously it could be that love is coming in and that our cups are filled with love and we have fiery passion in our lives. The universe is definitely handing us a gift, that is for sure, which is nice to see as always. So, you know, we have this warrior, strong individual here, somebody who's well respected, very objective, authoritative. You know, I do see a lot of creativity with these three cards. Somebody communicating what they want, new beginnings, a focus again on number one, number one. You know, with the Ace of Wands, we see this rich new promise. We're creating something exciting. We're going for it. The lots of new opportunities opening up for us. You know, we're really feeling loved. We're loving ourselves. We're appreciating ourselves. We're realizing our beauty, our strength. Okay, let's see what other messages we have. See if we can make the message clearer. What's going on here? The Hermit. The World. And the Two of Cups. Okay. So the focus is on a partnership, a union, new beginnings. Something's come full circle. I feel like somebody's done that inner work. Somebody here is now very wise. They know what they want. They feel fulfilled. Um, it's quite possible that th that person's in your life, if not, they're coming in. But you are ready to move on into a committed relationship. You're ready to tell somebody what you want. You're ready to open up to somebody. It may have been that you were keeping feelings hidden inside. Or it could be that you were on that soul-searching journey of self-love. Whatever that work is, it's done, it's completed, that cycle is over. You're ready for change. In love, we have a fulfilling relationship. It's mature. It could be that you're in your older years. You know, I do see that mature energy going on here. 
and it's like we've moved out of this place of being in the dark. It's like we've, our eyes have been opened to something. You know, this relationship has it all. Love, passion, and also it has that rewarding spirit, spiritual side of it and obviously the physical side of it too, the intimacy. You know, the Queen of Swords energy and the Hermit, they are, I see these as quite solitary figures, okay? Not afraid to be on their own. You know, these. this is, you know, perhaps we might be seeing a divorcee, a widower. It's generally a, a single person. But I feel like, you know, and obviously with the Hermit, we have that solitary, independent, self-love. Or, you know, there's a lot of self-love and also with the Ace of Wands as well. Somebody's taking the lead. Offering someone a chance. This is, They're clear about what they want. Very clear about what they want. see any more messages any more messages today let's look queen of wands the ten of swords and the queen of pentacles three queens hmm three queens who are all these people what is going on here There's been some betrayal. There's been hurt, sadness. I see perhaps this is somebody who's had a lot of female, female figures around them. I feel like whoever we've got here, this individual that we have fallen for, they've been hurt. They've been hurt. I mean, that that is a cycle that has ended, for sure. That is a cycle that has ended. This person is in the calm after the storm. But some, there's something going on here. You know, we've got the drama queen. The queen of wands brings in that energy. You know, she commands respect very confident person, beautiful, passionate, creative. The Queen of Pentacles, much more um, grounded, much more focused on practical matters. But that's not to say, you know, they're not still a loyal, loving wife, mother, you know, those things. This is someone who's, you know, a very sensual person, the Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of growth with this. A lot of maturity. This is something that's matured. But something's come to an end. Something has come to an end and I need more clarity on this because all these queens are confusing me. Page of Swords. Right. I do see, and I, you know, I'm going to say say what I've originally saw. Basically, that I do see that somebody has had another woman in the life. They've been speaking to someone. They've been flirting with somebody. They've been giving the time to somebody else. And while they've been doing that, you've been left in a situation where you are feeling hurt, betrayed. You're taking time out for yourself. You've matured and grown, but someone's giving you breadcrumbs. But I feel like that's ended. I do feel like this, that whatever that situation is, it's come to an end. I feel like you've had it out with each other. 
I said it at the beginning about the Queen of Swords. This is someone who means business. They've come to talk. They've come to lay the cards on the table. They've come to say what they're thinking. They're very sharp. They've come to have words. And they're coming in with a fiery, passionate attitude. The attention has been on someone else. We can see that here in the cards here. I'll just bring them a bit closer. They're looking towards the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, this person is not looking towards the Queen of Pentacles in their direction. But they're coming back in. They are coming back in. Devil. They're coming back in because you're the one that they're pulled towards. But there's a there's addictions here with this person. You know, sex addiction, gambling, drugs, drink, partying, burning the candle at both ends. This person has been has been wild. I mean I was gonna say it before that I, when I pulled the world card, I was really strong towards a Capricorn really pulled towards Capricorn so seeing the devil here you know there could be a Capricorn energy the devil ego obsessions indulgence addictions greed selfish there's a very loyal person I feel like you're a very loyal person waiting Waiting patiently while you're being fed breadcrumbs, left in the dark, left in the dark. You know, perhaps you've found some joy in creativity or, you know, spiritualism, something like that. Maybe you've, you've, you've drawn your joy and passion from, from those areas whilst this person around you has been... Play in the field, basically. That's what I see. But I feel like they're addicted to you in some way, like they've got this sexual obsession with you. They're pulled to you. But there's abuse. There's abuse here. It's not a pleasant energy what I get from this at all. The magician. There's abuse, there's manipulation, there's abuse of power. I see Twin Flame again. Saw that on the World Card as well. You really want this person back. You're so sad. I feel that heavy weight of sadness. How much you want this person back in your life. I feel like you've had a long-term partnership connection with this person, a marriage or a long-term relationship. Why do I feel like they're coming back? I 
do. I feel like they're coming back and I feel they're coming back because there's a real strong connection, spiritual, physical, that intimacy, the, the, um, the sexual energy between you both. The draw. You're drawn to each other. It's like you're on the same spiritual path. You know, infinity, this doesn't, you know, it's not ending, it's never ending. It's a never ending cycle. Hmm. Someone wants the cake. Right, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is draw from the deck. Ooh, I'm messing everything up. I feel, I saw ya. The devil again. Two devils. Judgment. Okay, we've got a lot of majors, haven't we? Yesterday we had double towers and today we've got double devils. What is going on? What is going on? Have you woken up to what's going on? I feel you've had a wake-up call. I feel you've told this person. You've given an ultimatum to this person because this behaviour is abusive. It is. You've been left on your own so much. Left out in the cold. It's time, I feel, to break free. You know, at the beginning of the reading, I thought, oh, I see this beautiful union, this new union coming together. You know, it ended in the Two of Cups there. But I now feel like this is decisions of, about love. And this is choosing self-love. And reigniting passion for life. And coming out of this slump that you've been in. You've been driven to by this abusive person. Who is unhealthy. In every way. You're ready for change. You're ready for... You're ready to move on. Yeah, but like I said in yesterday's reading, you have to feel that, you have to endure the pain, the suffering. You have to, you have to learn to accept it, to live with it. That's all part of the healing process. Right, I'm going to finish up with Card from the Universe because it was a bit heavy today, heavy read. Let's see what we got. And we have today the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. You need to release. You need to release this person, this toxic person from your life. 
end this cycle and as soon as you do you'll see new opportunities coming in take care